New York City throws one of the biggest pride celebrations in the world. A growing number of suburbs are having their own events. CBS News' John Diaz shows us what's happening in New Jersey, Westchester, and Long Island. Like a beacon in the sky, for the first time, Northport Long Island raised a rainbow pride flag in front of their town hall, celebrating all the LGBTQ members in their town, like Ethan Soda. Um, as a transgender person, it's a welcoming experience. Ethan is a senior at Northport High School and says this makes him feel more connected to his hometown. This feels like it's your own little bubble and it's personalized to you. Northport is just one of the many towns on Long Island that's celebrating Pride Month with festivals. At least four towns have something planned, including the main Pride event, Long Island Pride, that will be in Huntington. Edmund Smith is the town supervisor. It's indicative of the community that we have here in Huntington. It's a very accepting community. Towns north of the city plan on celebrating too, and from Connecticut, where Fairfield Pride will be in Norwalk on June 10th, to New Jersey. Organizers say there's Pride events all over. I've seen an explosion over the last few years. The executive director of Out Montclair, which puts on the largest Pride event in New Jersey, says recently an increasing number of LGBTQ events like Pride festivals have been held in the suburbs, a trend critical to increasing visibility and acceptance. I think we were conditioned to believe that we can only find acceptance and a good way of life in the city, right? And as we've grown up and many of us have gone and now out to the suburbs, you know, it's about, I think, creating communities that reflect our values. Throughout the month, New Jersey will be putting on a ton of events, celebrations that are also reminders. It takes true bravery to be your authentic self and give thanks to the allies who support. The reality is the LGBTQ community is everywhere. And so support should be everywhere. If you don't see it, you don't believe it can be. You can't live it. And organizers of all these events would likely agree that Pride shouldn't just be celebrated on the day of their events or in just the month of June, but members of the LGBTQ plus community should feel accepted every single day, especially in their hometowns. From Northport, Long Island, John Diaz, CBS 2 News.